shall I let you into a little secret? I did a DIY last week which went totally wrong. It's April, so it's apple blossom time. There was a branch overhanging the footpath, so I thought I'd bring it home with me and make it into a lovely little door hanging. And of course it died within about 20 minutes. So rather than just chuck it away, I thought I would use the stem and the ribbon and replicate the positioning of the apple blossom with some scraps of silk flowers that I found. And hopefully my fake blossom will last a little bit longer. So let's dive into the first video. I've got a fast and furious DIY project for you today. I found this piece of apple blossom that had snapped off in the breeze. So I thought I'd bring it home with me and make a decorative wall hanging. I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging classes. I hope you enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors and I've chosen some pink gingham ribbon. Rather fortuitously, this branch of apple blossom has got a curve to it. So I thought I would attach some pink ribbon to each side and hang it up to create a really beautiful door hanging. Decide how much ribbon you want and be quite generous with it. Remembering that you will need to tie off at the ends as well. So we'll leave extra for that. and then tie a knot. I like using a clove hitch, two loops, and then slide the end of the stem through there. And the same on the other side. Two loops, put one behind the other, and slide the stem end through. Being really gentle so you don't knock off any of the blooms. Next job is to neaten off the ends of your ribbon. So I fold those in half and cut from the folded side up and out to the other end. And then you have a dovetail that won't fray. And the same on the other side. Fold in half and cut from the folded end out and up to the edge of the ribbon. And now you're all set to hang that on your door. For this project, I've got my apple blossom branch. You could use any stick. It doesn't have to be an apple blossom branch. And then my odds and ends and scraps of silk flowers. So I'll have to dig in there and see what I can use. I'm going to stick to the whites and pinks to make it look as realistic as possible. I've also got a hot glue gun on standby. These leaves are going to be too big, so I'll put them away for another time. So I've got my two piles, one of the green leaves and the other of my pink and white flowers. What I'm going to do is really look at how the blossoms and leaves are organised. So the leaves are oval in shape and then the blossoms were clustered at the top. So all at the end of these little shoots. So I can rub those away with my fingers. This was quite a big cluster of blossom and leaves compared to this smaller one here. I'm going to glue my leaves on first and then nestle in my pink and white flowers afterwards. Something like that. Take my hot glue gun. I'm going to run the glue up the length of that leaf so it can lie flat against the branch. rose petals. I might cut these off and use them individually. Add some glue.
cluster of leaves, trying to get them to look as natural as possible. Then to add in some flowers. So I noticed the cherry blossom, it does have a mix of white and pink flowers. So I can have a little bit of artistic license here. These are actually florets from a hydrangea. But they're the right colour, so I'm going to use them. There's the first of my fake apple blossom, and I'll work my way down the rest of the stem. I'm all set now to add in my last little placement. Cover up this little bit of glue here with another leaf. And then add in the flowers. Looks quite realistic, doesn't it? I'm rather pleased with that. Next job now is to reattach the ribbon. I decided I didn't like it where I had it positioned before. I'm going to bring it in a tiny bit closer and finish off with a bow. same on the other side. All ready for hanging up either indoors or outdoors.